Hello and welcome to Matrix Live! Three element demos for you today, and things are starting to look really awesome. If you missed it, I strongly encourage you to read the Matrix Summer Special blog post by Matthew. It will give you a good idea of everything going on in Matrix these days. I'm going to add a link in the description so you find it easily. We're making steady progress and we're excited to show you an early version of Element X using Sliding Sync. As you can see, the developer logs in with their account on a fresh install of Element X and everything is loaded almost instantaneously. This is a real life account being used and it takes a few seconds to get there. It's incredibly fast, especially as compared to current versions of Element which are not relying on sliding sync. Next up is a trailer of the gorgeous new UI Element is receiving. I've been using it over the summer and as an iOS user, I can tell you it feels incredibly more native and sturdy. Both Android and iOS will receive this fantastic upgrade. We can't wait to see what you think about it. We'll then finish with Usman, a summer outreach intern at Element who worked on a feature to bookmark messages. The feature is not merged yet, but his work is worth showing. Enjoy the demos and I'll see you next week. The idea was to come up with something that would be as straightforward to use as possible. We thought about how a user can uh, use all the, the features of uh, Element. I think we're bringing the app into a new version of itself, a new life, like it's 2.0. I think that it uh, really makes using elements a lot easier. I like that it's easier for me to get to the people because usually I'm either DMing or I'm like working, in which case not all my rooms. We just wanted to simplify the experience. That was th the big thing. I really like customizing the way my home screen looks and how it's all configured and the ability to set only those filters that I need. Different people have really different needs for timely information. You get new needs and you like require some adjustments to your eye, you can do that. I think it's cool. Hi everyone, um, my name is Usman. Um, for in this video, I'll I'll be demoing my internship project. So it allows users to actually save a message for reference later. Like, I mean, just like you have in other chat applications, like you could start a message, you could um, you could bookmark a message and stuff like that. So um, this feature enables the user to, to have um, that, uh, that ability. It gives the user that ability to CV message um, for data reference. Um, so let me show you how it works and stuff like that. Um, currently it is disabled because, um, yeah, it's, it's like if you want it to be enabled, you have to go to the labs, go to the settings, labs, and um, this this uh, this section, this list called uh, favorite messages. Now let me enable it. Um, so you could see after enabling the, the feature, you could see that there's a list that comes up here, which is called saved items. Within it, we have um, something called favorite messages. Um, it's within here that we have the panel that displays the message. This is how the UI looks like. This is what I created for the, uh, it might not be the best actually, <laughs> but this is how I actually imagined it from my, in my head currently. So um, here is where the messages are gonna be displayed. And um, we have um, filtering, uh, like you could filter a message, um, you could reorder your message and you could clear all. And um, so currently this is how, what I included in the feature. So, let me show you um, just a demo of it. So currently you could see that uh, there's a star button currently appearing here. So this is how you start a message, you click. So if I go back here to the saved items, provide messages, you could see the message being started here. And also it's it's like, it includes the right room, the date and everything. Also, if you click it, it takes you to the right room with the message highlighted. So um, let me start a um, couple of messages so it can be more, Go to another room, start another test line or something. Let me start another message. So yeah, I think this is enough.
so you could see all the messages that are being started currently and um here is the the last message that you start will be the the this is the current one the, like let's say the last message you start is going to be the top here why the one you the ones you start first like it is like from the current to the oldest or stuff like that so and um i can um i can reorder it to be like the oldest to be the first and the current being the um the last let me go back to the other bag so it's like yeah and um there's this thing called filtering let's say i'm trying to filter a line and um, some messages with some keyword let's say line or something you can see it highlights the keywords and um and filters the messages according to that so i can cancel that and also you could unstar your message from here if you want see immediately it displays it disappears and uh, reorder itself and uh, i can clear all the messages from here as well so if i decide to clear all the messages out once i can clear it so this is basically what it does um i guess that's it for this video because i don't want to take much of your time yeah like i'll i would like to actually thank my my great my mentor I, I i wouldn't have asked for a better mentor like he's a great man um and balam and also i would like to thank um, simon like for his support as well i would like to thank my buddy during the onboarding period, um, Olivia, it was really helpful. It gave me some tips how to adjust um, uh, in their community. And also I thank the whole uh, Matrix community because um, it's been great working on this feature. It's been great working with the team, uh, being in this community as a whole. Um, I'm really grateful, even though my internship is currently ending on Friday, but I'll, which is tomorrow, I'll definitely continue being a contributor to Matrix community. This is this is currently my community right now, so I'm still part of it. So I guess um, and currently and also I'm I'm we are I'm very open to like um extra um extra suggestions because currently the, the data are stored on local storage. We still have to put it on local account data, which I'll be working on maybe later. And um, so um, for now, if there's any more input, like any more suggestions, like you could drop it on the PR on GitHub. And um, we'll keep on. I'll keep on improving. And thank you very much. I I really appreciate um, um this opportunity for 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 being part of this. Um, I'm really grateful. Thank you very much. And thank you. Bye.